Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Peter Webster here again. Uh, after a bit of a delay, but yes, it's that time of uh, video unboxing time. Uh, I've got a few items that I've purchased, but most importantly, I've got gifts that I've received off a few amazing friends of mine. And we'll come into that in a minute. First off, I will show you what I've put, what I've purchased. Um, first item is, as we, as a lot of us know, we're all doing a bill for Terry Senior after he sadly passed away. And uh, I've now got his decals, so I can put them onto my tribute build. Um, railway, I have treated myself to some more. HM7000 Bluetooth decoders from OMB. I've got another, is that one? Yeah, that's another 8 pin one. And I've got two 21 pin sound decoders there. So I can add some more sound to my vehicles, my pride and joy. Now, next item I've purchased, well, I don't know if I've bought this or my wife bought it. Have you bought me this? Yeah, I thought it was. I bought this and then my wife wanted to know what I wanted it for my birthday. And I said, well, I just bought this, so she sent me the money back for it. Bless her. It's not my birthday yet, so uh, it's not till 30th of April. And yes, we've got another locomotive, another Harvey one. And this is the Prince of Wales. P2 uh, DCC fitted but not just any ordinary DC it's sound and this is the live steam type version and it's synchronised to the speed of the actual train the actual engine shall I say the loco I know some of you stiffers will say it's not a train until it's got the carriage on the back. Then it's classed as a train. So I'll see if I can show you this. Oh. What's that? Oh, okay. First time I've read any of that. Uh, there's this, the accessory pack, which includes some brass etch nameplate with the Prince of Wales a uh, spare set of uh, running gear uh, NEM couplers brake rigging and the chimney which I will show you about that in a moment so let's open this beauty up I've only seen it on the front of the box this is the first time actually opening the model in its entirety <coughs> And here she is. I've got to be careful because I'm not the most careful person when it comes to handling things. And there she is. Or shall I say him, Bezos, uh, Prince of Wales, now King of uh, Great Britain. And these two steam stacks here, to run it you have to pull the little smoke door off and there's a reservoir at the front there where you put five ml of water little box is held on by magnets and you have to pull this chimney out and replace it with a big chimney so you don't get no condensation flow back into the unit sprung buffers front and rear and I have seen a few YouTubers running this round and it looks amazing Sounds gorgeous and as you can imagine, as you can see guys, it looks the part. So let me just put that back so I don't get dropping it accidentally. And we'll move on to the gifts I've received. You have pipette coming out. Yeah, you get a pipette as well to fill the actual tender, you know, the tender, the uh, the water bottle and the loco. 
Right, let's put that back there. Don't need that bit of plastic. Just uh, Yeah, it's been quite a good week overall lately. Um, I've met a couple of amazing friends, YouTubers. Uh, my bro Mark took me to meet the lovely David Sprue and Glue and his lovely partner Dave, which was a lovely day out. And I took him his birthday present over. Sorry guys, it, the pipette stuck. I want to make sure the thing's going right. It wasn't cheap, but I think the cost, the performance outweighs the cost greatly. It, it is a lovely model, quite a weighty thing as well. So we'll pop that down there. I'll box that up in a, in a Oh, well, I want to go through the video. Right, as I said, I went to see Dave Spur and Glue, took his birthday gift over, and I come back with more than I took. Oh. Right. Some weight in these. And I ended up coming back with some DVD collections of railway. Now, this one is Railway Journeys Oh, um, hang on, let me, where were we? This is North and South America, Canada and Australasia. That's that set there. Another set here, which is uh, Africa and Asia locomotives. All collector's editions as well. I was blown away when he gave me these. He started giving me one, then he just they just kept coming. This one is Railway Journeys of Europe. And they're the locomotives. And finally, last but not least, we have uh, USA, Canada, South America, Cuba, Asia, Africa, and Australasia Railway Journeys, and all the different locos and. There's two of these with eight DVDs and two with twelve. So I've got forty DVDs here and I'm not even gonna attempt to put them back in the bag while I'm on camera. Because I have another unboxing to do. And this is a, a gift that came through the post of uh Unky Bunky Ron. Granddad Ron. Ron Heaton, um, Ron's modelling, and he said he'd send me a gift, and he said he'd like to see my face when I open it. He said he thinks, well, he said your eyes will light up hopefully when you see what I sent you. But I haven't got the faintest idea what's in here, and Ron, I haven't got the faintest idea how to get in here. I'm trying to open it because I don't know what's inside but I don't want to cut up into pieces of this trap line. Right. Uh, that's got my address on there. Oh, half the world's got my address so it don't really make no difference. If anybody comes here you end up getting a gift anyway. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh my lord, Ron. I had a funny feeling you'd do this after I told you now, don't. Naughty man, Ronnie. Right, let's get rid of some packing. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll do this get the kids to do a tip run for me. Right, let's show you what we've got here. 
and these are model locos static models and these are absolutely wonderful first off we have the skulls class 220 sr model loco on a wooden plinth That's lovely. I do have a schools class and a double L gauge. Can I pass them here in bay? The next one, this one's got some weight in it. Uh, this is the uh, the one that everybody in the world should know now. The LNER Wayne Scotsman. Another beautiful model on a print. These are probably the place on my uh, di display of my railway when it's done. Well, you know, this is an heavy one. The next one, I've never heard of this one, but it's a specific loco and it's called the Chapelon Road, the Chapelon Nord, sorry. I presume it's uh, possibly French or German, I'm not 100% sure. I'm still learning about locos, but it's a gorgeous looking locomotive. Absolutely amazing. I'm over the moon with these. There's the next one. And finally, out the models, and I haven't got a colour of it, one of these at all. In this colour anyway. I do have a Duchess uh, logo. I think it's... Uh, Duchess of Kent, if I remember right. But this is the Duchess LMS livery, and it's in an absolutely amazing colour red. And there we go. Beautiful locomotive. It don't end there, guys. There's still one more item in the package, which will make my display look even more stunning. And it's a Backman Europe PLC Age of the Train Collector's Calendar from 2018. Um, I won't go through all of these guys because I don't want you to be bored, especially those who are eating to railway. But there's some lovely pictures there. The old VRF lorries there. I have to show you this one. I know Mr. Dave say he recognised exactly what those lorries are. From back in the day, loading fruit. Uh, Loco. The claim to copy peak. Um, diesel in the peak district. Oh yes, I will show you this one. This, this one's an amazing picture. You know what Dave say? And all you buzz enthusiasts out there, don't ask me what buzz they are. All I know are London Red buzzes, but I presume London Reds. I don't know if they were the route masters or what. I'm not 100% sure. Um, no, they're not root masters. But I do know I, I actually drove one of these, and these used to be used in the breweries going back for taking the kegs to and from the warehouse. So, amazing. I do love buses. Another train, December. Uh, we're going to October. Chilly morning. The Queen of Scots locomotive. And there we go, guys. As you can all see, that is an amazing gift, isn't it? And I couldn't be up here. Oh, hang on. We've got one here. I didn't see this one. I'm sorry, my eyesight's terrible. I didn't notice this one. This is a King Class Great Western Railway. 
another steam rail car there. So I've got a lovely collection now of static models to go alongside my working models. There you go, beautiful. Now we'll do some uh, reading up on those just so I can acquaint myself with the different locos that I haven't got. So I hope you enjoyed that um, bit of an unboxing and my, my recent purchases, guys. Um, I had the pleasure today of meeting Mr. Dave McBuild. He's also put a quick video up of uh, coming to see me and my wife today. He graciously offered to come and collect my Titanics, which I have 100 issues of, and he's going to build it for me and bring it back to me once it's fully built because my eyesight is just not good enough to, especially where the engine is, there's too many little parts and I'll get too frustrated. I know there are other YouTubers who've had eye, eye issues and they've needed help, so it's just my time to ask for help. I was going to give the whole lot away, but when Dave said he's more than happy to come here and meet me, there we go. So, thank you Dave, you're an absolute legend, love you to bits mate. Uh, you as well Dave, and thank you so much Unky Monkey Ron, Mr Greggs. And I will see you all again on the next video, I don't know when that will be. Um, I'm still waiting for a pre-order from Ormby, which I know it won't be here till October, so, but I'm hoping to get some more railway armor or railway ephemera coming to soon. And the next time I do, I will put another video up. So thank you all for bearing with me. Thank you for all your support. You mean the world to me. I love each and every one of you and I could... I would love each and every one if I could, but thank you so much for being there, and from my amazing wife behind the camera, and from myself, Peter Webster, I'll bid you all farewell until the next one. Stay safe guys and look after each other, be kind, bye bye guys.